What's up, everyone? It's Lord Vapor Smith Rakemar. Now it's time for our episode of League of Legends. Last time on League of Legends, I showed a recent Ashy play. In this episode, we will be showing some Ezreal plays as well as good comebacks. And I also have even better Ezreal plays than this. So, starting off on our team, we have me being Ezreal. We've got Vapor Smith. And let's see, let's see. I'm gonna focus camera on Baker Smith. Become one with the jungle. I love that. I love that with the Teemo. Become one. Okay, so I'm running away from the base. I, um, as you can see, I have a Doran's uh, sword and a potion. I am waiting for them to come with me. Um, so yeah. And so also on our team is Your Memes, Warwick, he's the jungler. We got Mini Win, Much Wow, which is the Teemo, become one with the jungle. <laughs> Trying to fight a Katarina. We've got Wabib, who is a Janna. We've got our mid laner, who is a Zed. Janna's coming now. We have Sona, uh, on the enemy team, we have a Vayne and Sona bot lane. Um, and enemy jungler is, I believe, another Warwick. And for mid laner, I, uh, a top laner is actually Katarina. Interesting combination. And for the mid lane, I believe we have Heimerdinger. Yes. So, we'll be focusing bot lane, because that's where I'm at, and that's where the comebacks for me are at. And um, that's also where Labib is at, but Labib is just the support for now. So, I'm going to be fighting these creeps, I'm going to try to farm them. I'm going to get some gold here, and got some good last hitting there. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be last hitting these creeps. i got to remember, I'm the one last hitting the blue creeps, because I'm the, the red team. Um, we are both of the same club. Timo is signaling to be cautious because Timo is in trouble. We're going to be because he's fighting a Katarina, so I'm farming these these uh, minions, minions, and I'm going to be trying to get to the vein. Now, vein is a glass cannon like Ezra. However, vein is more of a strong duelist up close. Uh, Ezreal has more safe laning. Um, I'm using Mystic Shot and Autos to try to farm creeps. Um, the trouble with using Mystic Shot, especially early on to uh, farm creeps, is that it consumes mana. And mana is very valuable to Ezreal because it allows him to arcane shift and use Essence Flux to increase his attack speed to cause more trouble. Okay, I'm going to be farming these creeps and trying to heal with the Sona. Um, Labib is having severe troubles with lag. His FPS got to 8 frames, and he had like 200 ping or something. So he's having some issues uh, being support. Meanwhile, Sona is trying to outpoke uh, Janna, but Janna has good, um, outpoke Labib. Labib has good, uh, in, at least as this character, he has a good cyclone to help poke uh, Sona out. Now, always with um, Fighting Vein, you always have to worry about Condemn. You don't, and I'm using Essence Flux to try to increase my attack speed so I can farm creeps. But I don't want to get too near there. Nice! Teemo got first blood! Teemo killed Katarina! Yay! And now, we wait. <laughs> As Teemo would say. Oh yeah, that's hilarious. I'm using Mystic Shot trying to farm. Namely, I think I should just use autos for that, because that was my big mistake in this match, trying to use Mystic Shot to farm. Maybe I could catch the Vayne out on a mistake that Vayne might make. Um, gotta make sure that I land all my skill shots, because it, one missed skill shot with a Condemn into ults could be the end of me, because I'm using uh, Arcane Shift um, to Arcane Shift away to watch out for... Um, Vayne. See if I can kill Vayne. Keep a distance. 
Labib is having loud problems. Uh, is our Warwick appearing? I believe so. Oh no! Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Our Warwick is appearing. Um, we have yet to uh, kill both Robin Opa and Fem Scout. Um, I'm going to be trying to attack Fem Scout. I'm getting condemned, so I'm trying to use arcane shift, so I don't hit into a wall, because condemn causes extra damage if you get knocked into a wall. So you really don't want to get condemned into a wall in specific. Um, they're getting marked with blood scent, which is probably going to attack the warrior. War um, I'm going to. Oh, we're both marked. Or they're mainly marked with it. I'm going to be trying to farm these creeps. Um, so far, I'm at uh, 22 creeps, and Vayne is at 26, so she's at a 3 creep advantage. Which doesn't sound like much, but 3 creeps can add up over time. But of course, the Vayne is probably more practiced than me, because Vayne is actually a hard character to pick up. She's a high skill champion. So, one has to be experienced in order to actually play Vayne properly. Okay, I arcane shifted in. And I managed to almost kill Vayne. But, uh, Sona actually killed Uli, I think. Is that correct? Yes. So Sona is actually being more of a threat than Vayne is right now, which is surprising because Vayne is a high doing assassin. However, I have a feeling that this Vayne actually sucks and is a scrub because I've seen much better Vaynes than this in ranked. Usually, good Vaynes completely destroy the lane. If they, if, you know, like, they, they obliterate the lane in a matter of minutes. They are very high clearing champ- like, like, Vayne is a very high pressure champion. She is all killing. Like, she's perfect at- her, her big thing is she loves to kill. Kill, 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 kill. And use Condemn and Tumbles to increase her damage. And also to stun the enemy and to put the enemy into a bad situation. Now, that is what... So now I got some items. Let's see which items do I got. I uh, built five potions and one tier. All right. Um, I do question the multiple potions, but since I'm new to fighting the main matchup, I usually use potions along with the tier. The, uh, unless is there's some kind of health alternative um, for uh, Ezreal. But I'd rather try to stay in the lane to farm creeps. Like, it's, it's something with the potions versus a certain health item. I have a debate about that. Uh, because Ezreal does have a lot of trouble with health. He's not a high health champion. He's not a tank. He has health on par with Vayne, I believe. Like, close to Vayne. All right. I'm going to farm not quite as low as Vayne, but close. So I'm going to be farming these creeps. So in terms of creeps... 32 to 37. All right, I'm ahead on farm. That's good. Gotta, gotta keep, gotta keep farming them. Gotta, gotta get out of the tower because now they're pushing the onus on the tower because they want to kill Labib. Because Labib is low on health. They, Robin Opa sees Labib is low on health, so he's trying to. Oh, I got hit by that. All right, so now. Okay, so I'm gonna keep trying to auto these creeps. Um. Levine is trying to get creeps himself because he, he's in trouble right now. And he's trying to get extra power. Getting condemned. I might have just wanted to go straight in and just keep shooting. Because often the key with killing Vayne is to pressure Vayne. That's, that's often the key. But then at the same time, you then get hit by her very hard hitting auto attacks. Because Vayne has very hard hitting auto attacks that can be magnified due to tumble. Now, while I have tried Vayne, I don't own Vayne. I just know this because I've tried Vayne and because I've done some research on Vayne. So, yeah, the lane is going mediocre. So, so. Oh, boy. Okay, good. Go, Teemo. Go, Teemo. I'm going to go to farming because um, he's having tr uh your means is having trouble with Cutover, which happens to be one of Labib's friends. So now, um, 
Now Vayne is trying to use uh, Tumble to try to increase her damage. I think she's given up on the idea of Condemn and is mainly resorting to Tumble for damage magnification purposes. You use Alts. Trying to get her under the tower, but it's not quite enough damage because I'm trying to go in on this vein. This vein is going to be a problem if we don't push the pressure on the vein. Oh my god. Let's see. Let's see. Can we, make it? Can we, can we get this? Have I died yet? No. Obviously not. Just when we've died. Alright. Alright. So not. So there's a problem. Maybe, maybe they're going to have a bad jungle or something. How many bads can you have? Oh, 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 We could die here. We could die here. In the vein. Got him! Alright, arcane shift. Got it. I've slain Robin Opa. Yay! I managed to actually land the proper skill shot. See, that is a man... Oh, um... Oh. A, a good play there. See, here's the thing about Vayne. When Vayne has the ult, you can hit Vayne out of the ult, but Vayne's attack speed goes way up. Not only does Vayne's attack speed go way up when she has ult, she also can teleport. So I was very worried I was going to die there because of Vayne's ability to do that. Um... Direct it back at me, man. Direct it back at me. Okay, you know what? Direct it will be. Just direct it. There. Alright. So, I'm going to be going... Doing kills here. Using an ult. And he's unstoppable. That didn't quite kill Sona. But I think that might have been a well-placed alt. I'm not sure. So I'm going to be going with the creeps. Um, focus to me, please. Thank you. So we're going to be in this grass trying to let them push so that we can get a decisive ambush on this vein. Because pressuring the vein is vital. Uh-oh. He's using Condemn. So, uh, also, Sona has her power cord. Her power cord is a big problem. Um, I am kind of worried that the enemy jungler is going to appear, okay? Arcane shifted out of the condemn. And there's Fem Scout. Let's see here. Trying to hit me with that. Oh! Missed ults. Sona, you missed your ults. Sorry. You, you were predicting that I was going to go there, but you, you didn't line up like a skill shot. Had you lined up at a skill shot or predicted better, had the Sona been better, I would be in worse trouble. But the Sona is not very good at prediction. The Sona, I take it, is not an extremely experienced Sona. Uh, I am worried about uh, the jungler, yeah. Yeah, the jungler is a problem. And the... Uh-oh. Actually, no, that's us. That's good. Okay, cut over to here. Wait. That's the enemy jungler. See if I can get one. Uh-oh, I think I'm gonna get slain by Vayne because I went for... I went for the alt. Oh, that was a bad play. That was a bad play, because I... See, I just should have just autoed. I brain farted there. I like, seriously brain farted. That, like, you don't want to ult when Vayne ults. You just want to auto. You want something that does quick charge. That's what you want. Um, they're about to take the turret, so I might as well get some items. What items are we going to get? Because I, I, that was my, my big problem. I, I made a mistake. So where's Vayne at? Vayne is tight with me, actually. Uh, except more creeps now, because uh, I died. That was bad. Um, no, no. 
at me. At me. We're fine. At Labib. And then at me. No, no, not Zed. Me. Alright. Now, Sona's got another kill. So now Sona is fed. So now Sona's going to do power cords with increased damage. Um, there we were seeing how Zed was farming, but that was kind of disorienting. Just stick to one perspective. That's the one thing I don't like about the replay feature is the perspective changes sometimes if you don't keep the camera directed. Now, I also have a bit of a headache anyway. So yeah, so we're going to... I'm arcane shifting away in case that's a problem. And using some potions. And I'm going to be trying to... Ah, come on. Okay, red team's turret. I get some potions. Let's see. Can we... Can we get... them to stop. Can we get the pressure on that? The pressure on that. I wish I played Vayne myself so I could get this experiment going, but I want to save up. I want to save up personally. I, I also want to just get more experience with Ezreal, and more experience in general. Um, this time Scout, he's a bit of a problem. Fem Scout right now is the biggest problem, not even this, this, this Vayne isn't very good. Oh, oh, got him with that. Tagged him. And two ults. Oh, what? What the? I think the Cyclone took my kill, so... Labib's got a kill. Well, that's not too bad. That's what I said at the time. I'm like, yeah, that's okay. Labib gets a kill. Labib deserves a kill. Because he's stuck with me for so long, and because he's more experienced than me, he has 500 wins, I only have 200 wins, so yes. So now, uh, John has got attack speed, and I'm going to be attacking this turret. I'm trying to take the turrets. Um, okay, so Warwick got the uh, turret, and now he's going off into the jungle. Okay, and minions. How many minions do I have compared to Vane? Vane is 83, I have 78. Not too much of a deficit. It's, it's a reasonable deficit. Oh god! Cut over here, and the other Warwick, and the Vayne, and a Sona. Um, am I gonna die here? I don't know. I could make some misjudgments. Who knows? Because you never know. Whenever you play a match, you never really know how it's gonna go. You never truly know. You can make an educated guess, and sometimes Daphne makes some educated guesses based on his skill level and the guys he's with versus my skill level. And, um... Shut down. Ah, Warwick has shut down Team Red Team double kill. Oh, and now uh, the Warwick shut down the other guys. Good. They got a double key. I'm still at 1 1 2. Sona's at 2 0 and 1 2 1 for Vayne. And 100 creeps. And a 79 creeps. Oh, whoa, 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 what? Wait, slain that. Come on. I need to kill something. I'm just getting away. Uh, I've tried to do an aggressive flash. Now I'm, I'm still on the... So how's Vayne doing? Vayne's getting dunked. Typical. Vayne gets dunked. All these bad veins. Bad veins. Good veins take over the match. Bad veins get dunked. Oh, there's our werewolf. Hello. He's got some nice medallions on him. He's looking for blood. Alright, we're gonna go hit that for vision. And drink some potion. Oh, there's the exact bag. Oh, oh, there's Heimerdinger. Oh, Heimerdinger's gonna kill me! Heimerdinger's gonna kill me! Heimerdinger! Maybe I should've just gone for it. There's Heimerdinger. 
Yeah, that, that was that hurt a lot. I was expecting the ADC. Nope, it's on the Be one with the jungle! Spit darts! Alright. Uh oh. They're investigating my turret. They're gonna be taking my turret. Because of Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger investigated, and I didn't deal with Heimerdinger correctly. So now it's time to make my comeback. Because I made some mistakes, and because they're investing bot lane. I'm getting some supplies. So now I have a Trinity Force, a tier, and two potions. And 79 creeps. Vayne is 106, but Vayne is investing. Oh, wait. I realize I shouldn't use teleport, I should just run. So yeah, it was not the Vayne that messed me over, it was Heimerdinger. Remember that. Heimerdinger's. Oh, Opa's slain the dude, that's not good. Oh, Timo, Timo did it. Oh, them scouts causing problems. Okay, let's see if I can get some kills over here. Uh oh. Let's see if I can make a good play here. Let's see. Let's see here. Okay, I got a skill shot. Okay, I got, I got, a, I got an alt going. I should get some of them rolled. Wait, there's a, there's a, there's a, I said. Okay, I got one. I, 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 I did it. Q, uh, Q into, I did it, um, Mystic Shot into Arcane Ship, and I got another attack. There we go, and I got some autos. Some well-placed Mystic Shots and Qs there. That was, that was one of my best plays, see? You gotta get into the mindset of placing your Mystic Shots and your autos at the exact places where your enemies are. Because if you do that at just the right time, you can get a lot of kills at once, especially if your enemies are low. So there, that was a very well played... That was a very well played sequence, but I couldn't explain all that was happening at that exact time because it happens very quickly. So I'm gonna explain how that play works. You, when you're getting multiple kills at the same time with Ezreal, you have to do it faster than explanation. You have to intuitively know exactly when to place your mystic shots and autos. You have to place them at the exact positions where your enemy is, and you have to constantly keep an eye on all enemies at the same time, and keep in mind where their crowd control is and where exactly their attacks are going to go. It requires very fast prediction, faster than speech. So you, 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 I can't immediately explain how to do it, but like if you got a slow-mo replay, I could try to explain the exact intuitive placement of the auto attacks and mystic shots required to get multiple kills at once. This is also how Ezreal achieves pentakills. So now I'm ahead of Vayne by a significant amount. And I'm almost equal with Vayne and Creeps. Now we will be taking on the tower. Nice! Your memes is slaying more people. Yay! Yay! Now we're getting ahead. Now this is Ezreal plays. Now sometimes uh, I don't get the correct plays. A lot of Ezreal play involves very fast. It's like Vayne. Ezreal actually has a lot in common with Vayne. It requires very fast, very precise plays. Oh my god, it's Heimerdinger again. Same with Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger is the same thing. But Heimerdinger has more guns. And Heimerdinger is more overpowered in some ways. And the Krugs are going to try to kill Labib. Because Labib is low. Labib is dangerously low on creeps and health. Now, this is also how you get a Penta kill if you place your Mystic Shots and Autos in the correct places. Now, Spell Flux can also be used to enhance your Autos in case you need extra attack speed for a specific use. Now, Arcane Shift has two uses. It is both a disengage and an engage spell. Um, it's useful for engaging targets that are attempting to flee, and it's also used for more useful and more used to escape from dangerous situations because Ezreal has low health. 
True Shot Barrage is useful for killing enemies from a far distance. It is a global alt, meaning you can kill enemies that are low health from across the map. I should try that. Okay, here is Heimerdinger and Fem Scout, and possibly someone else. Um, I... Rabib is getting involved... Rabib is getting too involved with Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger has a lot of guns, needless to say. Heimerdinger can be very menacing. Um, Heimerdinger, though, has a weak, spongy skull. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, come on. Let's see, um... Oh, great. Let's turret. Gotta keep the creep. Gotta keep the, the shots going, because I want creeps. Alright, I'm getting company. Okay, kill, kill the Heimerdinger. There, 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 there. There, there got, got Sona. There we go. Time to get the copter! Time to get patched up. What the heck happened to my camera? Let's change it back to me. Okay, change it to Labib. And then to me. Every so often that happens. It's annoying. Alright, got a rampage. I don't know why my camera does that. I think we're having bad FPS here. Oh, wait, there's a shutdown. Oh, oh, let's see here. Oh, wait, wait. Nice, I got a mystic shot on him. Arcane shifted in, yes. Yes, now I can get more minions. Yes, this is... Nice, mini win, much well, is on a killing spree. Hell yes. Yes, see, this is the kind of plays Ezreal is capable of. It, you know, these very quick mystic shot play. Now, interestingly, Ezreal can use Arcane Shift to flash out of the way of Kha'Zix and kill Kha'Zix with correctly placed uh, mystic shots and auto attacks, as well as spell flux to increase attack speed so that the autos are more the autos are more optimized. And I managed to kill the dragon. Very good, very good. How is Vayne doing? Vayne is 272. Vayne is in terrible straits. Vayne is worse than my last game with, with uh, Ezreal. Vayne is in terrible shape. Alright, let's see. Yes, yes, here we go. Here we go. Cut over his cousin from. Alright, you using Mystic Shots? Yes, I got a true shot barrage. With the lag, man. I can tell that there's lag going on here. Oh, this way. Try to get some shots. Why is there so much lag? Alright, try to get some mystic shots on him. What is up with this lag? I got it. Three teams turrets been destroyed. Okay, let's see here. Alright, this is solar. Okay. Mystic shot. Oh! They surrendered! That's why the frame went. Oh, whoa! Because it was near the end. Near the end. When they surrendered. And other than that bit of lag, that was a decent time. Next time on League of Legends. We are going to be continuing showing various plays that I've made in this game and hopefully have a little bit less lag near the end. See you guys then. And I did get defeated once with that, but.